Okay. Hi. <sighs> so I'm clean shaven again. You can see. Put that over here for now. Easy to find it because then I have to tear apart my room again. I don't know if you can really see that back there. If I try to get my shirt enough out of the way, maybe you'll see. Let me duck and then it will self self do. Hold on a second. Try this. Alright. Okay. I'll, I don't know if you were able to see that. Yeah, I'm trying, I want to put myself enough out of the direct source of light so you can see me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Good. Now I'm sitting directly on the edge of the chair. At least now I'm more centered. Okay. Enough for this prattling on. Uh, okay, so I know I've been out of the limelight for at least a little while. And yet some things have just fixed, you know. Because you see stuff and stuff kind of angers you and you're kind of like, that's not how that works. Okay, now let's see if I make, if I make sense this time. Uh, okay, so... Two things remind me of a third thing. That... Okay, these two videos I saw, this one girl, I don't know if she was acting. I don't think she was acting, but she was a feminist out in the snowstorm before it became this bigger snowstorm. So it was like last month or so. And it was back in December. And she was seeing these uh, orange... Um, uh, rods in the ground in the snow and she's just freaking out saying look at all these anti-feminist flags look at all these anti-feminist flags i'm noticing there was a weird pattern to them they seem to be evenly spaced and all around where the curbs are hmm so after watching this video through about a quarter of the way through i realized there are the posts for the snow um snowplow guy to see where the curb is so that he can run parallel to it as best he can to do the inlets and the curbs so I figured that part out and she goes on for this for like 10 minutes or whatever and she doesn't get it next uh, they have um, national topless days here in California down at the uh, uh, um, Muscle Beach. They have like this little parade. I've seen a few of those videos. Nothing really to write home about, honestly. And I saw this one video of a girl and she had written on her chest, she had written, still not asking in pen or marker or something. And I'm guessing she's naked or at least topless. And she's not very attractive at all. She's kind of my eh. And so she's acting like... Ergo, you know, therefore she's naked. Ergo, she's erotic. Therefore she is asking for everybody to hit on her. And want to have sex and it's all that. Now, she has an assumption of the assumption that all, that all men could clearly see this as... You know, I'm asking for it. It's like, no, no. It's not because I don't think that. And I'm a guy. Therefore, your logic is flawed. Your logic's flawed. You know? <sighs> okay. Nudity and eroticism are two slightly different things. They're on the same cul-de-sac. They're just not in the same house. That's the analogy for you there. And it just kind of baffles me that she doesn't know this. Just because a girl is naked doesn't automatically make her erotic. Eroticness is a dozen different factors. It's not just body type, it's expression. And her expression looks like she's on her period. That's not a very attractive look. So again, what she assumes about us assuming is illogical, it doesn't work. It might do for some or most, but not all. 
but she's expressing it as all men do this. So if we gotta have the signs clearly stating to all men, I am not in. I am not asking. It's like assumptions and assumptions. No. Apparently at this point they're only making asses out of you, not just you and me. Which brings me to my third topic. Now, this is what reminds me of something. This is why I love the Powerpuff Girls you know, when I was younger. is because they had such endearing concepts. One was a, a supervillain. Because they had always had like, one-off supervillains. They never had really too many reoccurring supervillains. Which is okay. But this one supervillain I, I, I thought was very memorable. Was... Um, uh, um, I think it was it dollar or or dollar or was it susan b i can't remember which one it was but she was uh a thief a supposed supervillain but she doesn't have supervillain power she just has a theme or a motif or whatever so her thing her stick uh other than dressing in blue and gray stripes primary blue with gray stripes was that she would go and steal all the susan b anthony uh, dollars from banks. That's all she would steal. And so when the Powerpuff Girls showed up, they're saying, well, why are you only stealing Susan B. Anthony Pennies? Because of men! You know, it's men's oppression that keeps us down and this and that. And I thought that was rather baffling because it's like, so you're stealing Susan B. Anthony's dollar, dollar coins as retribution or revenge against the Male oppression. Okay, let's go. Let's let's see what this episode leads us. So she convinces the Powerpuff Girls that there is some gender bias in the world. <gasps> so the girls learn a new fact about life, other than swearing. That's an also a really good episode, by the way, with the potty mouth monster, which is a giant monster toilet they can be used as a as a noun and a verb <laughs> I, I love this show I, I really did uh, so what would uh, end up happening is that the girls went back to school and they would get kind of annoyed at all the boys because you know men and ooh and stuff but then they kind of come to a point where they actually bother to think for, for five consecutive minutes and then do their homework and then return to her after a bank robbery because they kind of let her do her thing for a while because they kind of feel that she's right. And then she says, do you even know what Su they're, they're there flipping the coin in front of her looking all badass. They says, do you even know what Susan B. Anthony actually stood for? Like what, what, what she stood for? She says, well, uh, um, you see... She thought women were being kind of uh, protected from the law. That whenever a woman did a, a, a crime, it was she was always it was brought down to like a misdemeanor crime. It goes this this is like jaywalking. Oh, I killed a guy. Ah, fifteen days in the break. That's fine. You know, bail set at five bucks. You know, stuff like that. Where it's like it's just it's just a little hand slap to other things. Where he's like, throw him in the chair now. Electrocute his ass. You know, so she wanted equality for the crimes that are committed. So when she committed a crime, I believe on purpose she, or something like that to get in front of the courts, she said she wanted to be tried as equally as a man. She didn't want some, uh, you know, some little hand slap, which kind of, again, reminds me of a fourth thing, which was uh, the episode, I forget what it's called, but it's where Bugs Bunny comes across the, the hunting signs. Remember I do duck season, rabbit season? duck season, rabbit season, um, hunting season, or whatever. So, um, I have to go after uh, more fun. Anyway, bugs come across all these different signs that say, you know, wolves, X amount of dollars, uh, elephants, X amount of dollars, and he says, rabbits, two dollars. And he's like, he's shocked and appalled by that. Like, everyone else has, like, reasonable rates. I'm two bucks? So he goes throughout the world causing more damage and then they finally jack up the price to like I don't know like $10,000 or something like that and 
uh, he gets uh, into a lot of trouble and gets sent to prison. Basically, what these two concepts have in common is the fact that they are uh, they are uh, e entities that want equal respect. You know, they don't want to be played off as because it feels like you're just dismissing me. I don't have value enough to warrant your full attention to take me seriously. Trust me, I know what that's like. It's called my life. So. So Buzz gets sent to prison. Susan B. Anthony finally f fights for women's rights to get sent to get a proper equal equivalent sentence. So the girls go back and they beat the crap out of Susan B. or whatever her name is, that supervillain. And so that's what these all things remind me of. Is that... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I think I got a hair or something. My shirt's still all covered in, in hair. Uh, the point is, is that people want things to be equal, even though it's next to and impossible to get that entirely perfect. They at least would like it, not to be dismissed. But the girls in the videos I saw are in such ravenous abandon of, of I want it, I want it so much that they're willing to cloud their own judgment and kind of see what they want to see which is this fantasy the poles in the snow the th the fact that she thinks that every man looking at her thinks i just want to screw that woman and she is giving me the high sign because she's naked you know they want equality but then they want it so badly just so much to to showcase equality and to showcase what they're feeling that they 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 really wrap themselves up in these in these fantasies, and then in the in the Powerpuff Girls, Susan B wanted to be a you know thought of as equal well uh, as well uh, equal rights too, but she didn't really believe in that. She believed in using that as an excuse to commit a crime. So that's her fantasy. Is that. I should be allowed to do this because, you know. So that was her fantasy. Um, and Bugs Bunny, well, he is a fantasy, so. It's, but it's more to show that you really shouldn't do th over. Which all these things have is don't have things so overboard and, and so big and expressive that they cause a lot of problems. I'm pretty sure that lady on the snow would probably be dragged off to the loony bin or tranquilized right there for the how hysterical she got. The woman in the bar club? Well, the nudist anyway. She probably probably not have too many people walk up to her or at least stay to talk to her for too long with that attitude. Susan B got put away after the first time with the Powerpuff Girls and never came back far as I'm aware. And Bugs Bunny was out by the next episode. So, yeah. Again, these are all the thoughts in my head. I hope I've made sense to you. I hope I helped you in some way. Uh, I need to clean this thing. If you can see my shirts. I don't know if you can make that out. But yeah, my shirt's covered in, in hairs. Shower and stuff. Toss this in the laundry. But I wanted to share with you my thoughts. Oh, and I just, this is the morning after my uh, new job location. They said they needed people in Long Beach at the University of Long Beach. And so that's where I'm working now. So, so I went from, um, what was it, uh, Grand California Hotel to the Paradise Pier to, oh, that was another story going from the one hotel to the other. It involves my health. But I'll just end it there for now. And now they, my, my uh, work called me up and said if I wanted to work in Long Beach. So I said, yeah. So after a, not too much of a long night, but a nice night because it has very nice people. 
know. People who say shit happens and that's okay. We're all in this together. You know. So it's a decent sense of camaraderie. Ugh, God, I gotta well clean that up a bit more, but that should be fine. I don't have to do too much with it. I can take a shower, go to sleep, see about parking. That's gonna be fun. Uh, I doubt I'll find time for that because I need to sleep. And that's it. I don't want to get completely, totally wasted. Got my Corona. I'm an adult. Leave me alone. So. Uh, oh, and I got the uh, lemon juice and salt. So I got that finally. Now, what movie should I watch? Let's see. A classic? A comedy? Hmm. What was this? <laughs> Spies like us. Born in the U.S. Born in East L.A. That's a good one. That's a good comedy. Pump up the volume. Radio flyer. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Rock School. Searching for Bobby Fischer. I've been drunk yet. I'm dropping these things. Cry baby. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Uh, it's best to watch the original VHS tapes because those have the proper um, screen ratio, so that when the uh, practical effects fail a bit, it's funnier that way. It, trust me on that. They're just funnier. They just are. No, that's not a comedy. It's a piece of shit. There we go. My Side of the Mountain. Falling Down. Wonder Boys! <laughs> I'll if you get that reference. Uh, Hamlet 2, the sequel to Hamlet. Stand and Deliver. That's a good one. It's a good Hispanic film. McRuber. Damn Lions. Once Upon a Time in China. China. We all know who that is. Uh, Knight's Tale, Commando, Blues Brothers, Crank, Legend of Zorro, War Inc., Bad Boys 2, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. 48 Hours, Another 48 Hours, Hollywood Homicide, L.A. Confidential, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Unrated, Hail Caesar, The Last Dragon, Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, The Karate Kid Special Edition, Man on Fire, Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes' is Smarter Brother, Day After Tomorrow, 2012, Young Guns 2, Kill Bill, Blazing Saddles, Club Dead, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, Cannonball Run, Gumball, Rally. Knight's Tail, Commando. I have tons of stuff. Die Hard, Brick Mansions, Three Days to Kill, Assault on Precinct 13, Half Past Dead, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Demolition Man, Over the Top. Snakes on a plane. John Wick. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Bersight and Adventure. Original. Black Hawk Down. I got Black Hawk Down. Okay, Black Hawk Down. 
as epic as it is, it seems incredibly generic because it's all those Middle Eastern war films, which is like a dozen now, so it's kind of played out. But that was one of the first ones. And the original, Point Break. Honestly, they should just make a, re a remake of that and have him be Deputy uh, Utah. He doesn't have to be the major character, but still. Make more sense than the newer one they have out, which barely has anything to do with anything, really. With the original. Airplane. Robin Hood, men in tights. Along came a spider. Fletch. And Fletch lives. The Chris Rock Show. Blue Comedy Tour rides again. Suicide Kings are wild. Mystic Pizza, have not seen that. I don't know if that's the Italian one or the Asian one. And I don't think it's the soccer one either. Uh, nine months. Uh, there I did Top Secret. Sixteen candles. Armored. They have so many, and I've seen them all. I don't know what to get. Alright, alright. I've run this long enough. Maybe I'll cut this last part out. But anyway. Until next time, folks. Take care, and... See you at the movies.